Right now at 10, the Wake County Board of Education held its first meeting since a student was stabbed to death in a school gymnasium. Thank you for joining us. I'm Gerald Owens. And I'm Lena Tillette. The tragedy at Southeast Raleigh Magnet High School and school safety front and center at tonight's meeting. And the reason behind a passionate and emotional community forum last night. WRL's Aaron Thomas has been following every detail. He joins us now live with solutions to prevent a tragedy like that. Aaron. Yeah, Lena, the superintendent and every single school board member spoke on this matter inside of the Board of Education office tonight. All of them agree that changes must be made to prevent future tragedies from occurring in schools. You have failed this, these students. Wake County schools have failed these students. Strong rebuke coming from Wake parent Diane Chandler to school leaders more than one week after a deadly school stabbing at Southeast Raleigh Magnet High School. At the first regular board meeting since the tragic event, parents sounded off with their concerns and the changes they want to see moving forward. I do believe that metal detectors do need to be put inside of schools um, and the kids do need clear backpacks. Many board members share their support for Southeast Raleigh High, with Lynn Edmonds saying the fatal stabbing is not an indictment of the school or leadership. Vice Chair Tara Waters shared her commitment for the school located in the district she represents. Um, this continues to be a priority for us, our student safety, our student well-being, our student mental health, as well as the educators in the building. Community engagement. It's how everyone involved gets a pulse on what's needed most during a time of healing. My goal as superintendent is to convene a group. Uh, I hate to use the word task force, but I, I will use that uh, to, to coalesce all of the resources that we have to benefit not only Southeast Raleigh High School, uh, but every single student in Wake County. Now, tonight's regular meeting went into closed session before we had a chance to ask any of the school board members if the school, Southeast Raleigh High, or the district received a warning call about violence. Uh, all the district would tell us at this point is that those claims are part of the investigation, but of course, we'll continue pushing for answers. Lena? Aaron Thomas reporting live for us in Wake County. Thank you.